Lucy Osanjo, a singer-songwriter who started at the age of seven, believe it or not. Welcome to the East Circuit. Thank you. You started at the age seven after hearing Michael Jackson's Heal the World. Yeah. That's interesting. So MJ is like your goal now. No, not really. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's not really I think I was... I think um, the song inspired me. I was like, ah, oh, I like this song. Then I just wrote something similar. Then I was like, ah, okay, fine. Actually, I think I can sing. Mm. Yeah. Nice, nice. Uh, so do you remember that song, that particular song that you wrote at age seven? Actually, do. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's strum a little bit. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd rather not. I'm not ready for that mm. one. Mm. <laughs> So how has your musical journey been ever since then after writing your first song uh, yeah. up until now? I think it's very similar to Wayinkers. Mm. Uh, seven wrote my first song, then joined the school choir, mm -hmm. then joined the school choir again in high school, then uni I joined a collective of artists, yeah, they were called Spoken Heart. Mm. Yeah, so every Thursday we'll meet, there'll be spoken word, there'll be music, painting, photography, it was just fun. Mm. Yeah. Then I think a friend of mine, we were having a discussion, this was in 2013, about music. Then I realized I actually like music. Then I decided to just dive in and see what the industry is about. Mm. Yeah. So this friend, this collective that you started in yeah. uni... Oh, uh, we didn't start it, I just joined. You just joined. Yeah. What were you doing exactly? Uh, the, was it like a poetry after lunch, the one that happened yeah, something at like that. the National Theatre? Yeah, it's just people meeting once a, thurs once a week on Thursday, mm. like from 7 mm. onwards, just to chill. Mm. And enjoy poetry and Exactly, music. yeah. So it's more of a mixture, not like just playing not poetry? Not music, no. Uh, have you ever doubled in poetry? Because a songwriter is a poet, you know. Well, I well. think, yeah. <laughs> Let me say, yeah, actually, I did try writing poetry. Then I was like, eh, doesn't mm. do it for me. So I just mm. stopped. Mm. Yeah. So what inspires your music? What inspires my music? I'll be cliche. Life experiences. Life experiences. Yeah, and also maybe sometimes a tune will just get into your mind and you'll be like, ah, let me write to this. Then you'll be like, oh, fine. I find the words from Hapa Hapa, mm. bring it together and you have a song. Mm. Yeah. So if you were to describe your type of music, how would you describe it? I don't have a description yet. Uh, yeah. It's still it's, experimental? Yeah, I think because like I'm listening to a lot of songs and I'm trying to play with my sound and I just see na, like a genre. Mm. Like I can box myself in. Mm. But the obvious one would be just maybe Afropop. <laughs> Afro pop. Yeah, that's what everyone just like. Ah, who Afro pop? Mm. Singing in English and Kiswahili. Afro pop. Mm. Yeah. But uh, when I listen to Amma B, Amma B, you recorded it in 2016. 2016, in February. Uh, what genre would you call that? That was rock. That was rock. Yeah. Okay. So in 2019, uh, mm -hmm. we were talking earlier, you, you're telling me there's a lot in store, obviously. Is there an album? And uh, what would you put inside <laughs> that album? Well, mm. I think. Only the Lord knows <laughs> what's in store <laughs> for 20 now. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah. I started there. I was like, I want to do all this stuff. Then I'm right now, I'm just like, hmm, okay, whatever happens, happens. Mm. Yeah. If I may ask, uh, yeah. what attracts you to the music industry? What attracts me to the music industry? I think, okay, like, okay, um, I joined Sotia Academy in 2017, mm. September, and what's consistent with all of the creatives I interacted with was that you'll find that we create, we perform, and then when you find yourself not doing that, mm. you kuna mwasho to you just be like, man. So you just want to be in a space where you're able to create? Basically, that's it, just uh. an outlet, because you'll find that, like you want to gig for a month and to wash for you just be like, man, this sucks, you know? Mm. And I've tried like going corporate, okay. like just a job and stuff like that. That's it didn't not work out for you? No, because I ended up singing badokwa phone calls, and then people will be like, you're singing songs, and like, uh, get to come manager's office and just be like, yeah, this is where I'm at now. Mm. Yeah. So you've decided it's music, plain and simple. Scarily sing. enough, yeah. Uh, scarily enough? Yeah, it's very scary. Why do you say that? Uh, what scares you about the industry? The not knowing, you the know, knowing. like there's no path. You know, for instance, if you're doing like CPA, you're like CPA 1, CPA 2, 3, mm. 4, 5, 6, mm. I'm an EK. No. <laughs> <laughs> but then, as in basically, Utamaliza, I'll like, I'll find a job, then I'll do masters. You know, as in, there's like, you know the way forward. But with music, literally, when there's a particular 
Like maybe you'll even be in the loo in a club. Someone will be like, you're so nice, I'll sign you. Or maybe you'll take 50 years before someone even knows about you, you know. Mm, before that's, you blow up. Yeah, that's the scary part now. Just mm. like not knowing. And then like there's Instagram. So you see your friends are like taking the steps that are defined. And oh, but look up, I have a dream, you know. Mm. So it's that not knowing. And the business side of it is also very scary. It's like a lot. Mm. I always keep saying it's like a lot. You like, no one tells you this stuff like lazimoji find it out say yeah i think we always have this conversation on the east circuit when we say like our older brothers and sisters when i say that i'm talking about the more established musicians yeah. they rarely go to someone who's uprising like yourself and mm. say take this shout do this do yeah that, do exactly this. like what i could blue tick trust me i've tried mm. <laughs> it's like what like do you think works and i think also it's like also for journey self-discovery like these things you have to find out on your own mm. i think but then like, what works, I think, is like having like structure through and through. Like, you know, in the States or like abroad, work on the labels. So, mm. And these labels have actually worked for hundreds of years, so they allow us. So whether Beyonce at Ainu Amtu or not, you know that someone is going to be discovered and signed and at a hit after a few years of effort, you know. Mm. But Kenya, we don't have that. So we it's don't have those platforms. Or they see people are trying. Mm. Like Soul mm. Generation have a label. There's Peter Nduati. There's all these people work on the labels. So I'm just hoping they Jenga to figure maybe like what Kenya Diamond are doing, building those structures, you know. Mm. Yeah. When you say this uh, music industry is still, you know, in the experimental stages, what do you mean by that? Oh, people are trying to see us to retrain a structure but I think mm. we're still trying to find what works. Sometimes like me. Well, what do you think <laughs> about this genre? Because I think we always have this conversation as mm. well. Uh, you said it earlier uh, as well. Afro pop. Mm. Yeah. It's dominant in East Africa right now. It's like a banger, 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 banger. Mm. No one is doing uh, soulful music, rock music. People are doing it. But where are they? So that's the thing, I think, because me, if you tell me, if, it, if you want a jazz artist, I know several. If you want, mm. like, rock artists, like, 20 so more days. So how come days. people are, don't know about them or their music? Yeah, <laughs> 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 play K.E. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? I think it's a play K.E. Because if you ask me, yeah. content-wise, we have tons wow, of content. Wow, like, go underground. We have tons of content. Everything, any Kenyan artist we have, like, if you want an equivalent of like now, I'm a like LMI, Kenya, Yuko. Mm. Like, trust me, like, people are good out, out here. Mm. But I think we just don't, they don't see the light of day. But they're just as scared as you are. Of course, uh -huh. you know, because they're still working on office jobs and stuff yeah. like that, because they just. <sighs> the uncertainty of it all. Yeah. What can we do though? I really don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to myself, I'm a DJ. To mm. myself, I'm a DJ. Who? Mm. I don't know. Because I don't think it, that's it. Because, mm. yeah, people normally say that, yeah? Mm. The secret sauce is getting to know some DJs or media personalities. But I don't think that's the case. For real? Because that's yeah. what I think is the case. Okay, no, for me, saying my name, I'm just like, maybe if you talk to DJs nicely. Mm. DJ, <laughs> let me ask you a question. This, this is a very sensitive topic. I know, uh, it's like, kuna layers nyingi. So I'm telling you, there's no like. Mm. Yeah. Uh, wait, what, 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 what's going on? Why are underground artists, the ones who have real content, not just bangers, why mm -hmm. are they not being played? Because they haven't given it to us. Huh. <gasps> For real? Just yeah, how, how would we know if they don't give us? And That's then true. some are not on YouTube. Mm. Yeah. Some are not on Some are on SoundCloud. Just go to yeah. SoundCloud. But SoundCloud has tons of music. How would you know? But how do mm. you, you know? Mm. But yeah. Then I to guess uh, what that. we can say is that education part. Mm -hmm. uh, people becoming educated as artists and how to, you know, put the yeah. music out there. Yeah. yeah, true. And not necessarily having to pay someone or get to know someone intimately yeah. to, mm -hmm. <laughs> to get their music played, yeah? <laughs> Mm -hmm. But with you, mm -hmm. you, you want a different direction with the music as well. Mm -hmm. Like you want to write uh, children's songs? Mm -hmm. Me? Oh, okay. I'm also... <laughs> <laughs> You're a little happy. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> uh, really, uh, okay, fine. 2018, I was like, I'm going to pursue anything and everything creative. Mm -hmm. So one day I was just like, let me write children's stories, you know. Mm. Then I came up with this character called Kadzu. Actually, like, it was Sulwe. Mm. Then I found out, like, this was in IG 2019, January. Lupita was going to do a, sto a storybook for kids. Mm. The character was going to be called Sulwe. I was mm. like, 
no amount of SEO will save me. Like mm. if I picked Sulu as a name, so I had to change it to Kadzo. So it's basically a 10 year old and a dog who go on various, okay, right stories. So the 10 year old goes on various planets, discovering things. Yeah, and she's dark skinned, she has dreads. Give us just one song though. Well, uh, will you will you guys play along? Listen to the adventures she's of She's singing Kanzo. children. Yeah. I do. Songs. Yeah. You sing. Yeah. So you should guys sing Baby Shark. Do 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 do. No, we don't know what to. I can't say Baby Shark. Baby anymore. Shark. Do do. I can't say Baby Shark anymore. Huh? I know. Okay, Baby Shark. G give us some. Let's sing the Baby Shark. Baby Shark. Do do do. Wait, wait. Chaza chizi. Baby I'll Shark. Do <laughs> Mommy. Okay, shark. fine. Then this. What is the important for this DJ? As a we need a mute button. Mute. Ah, but the kunai in the sleeping game. So basically, after all the kuku we just go like this. Mm-hmm. If you do the action, so we are sleeping. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's run. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then let's eat. Maybe let's use our phone. So don't forget mm -hmm. the action. So it's basically mm -hmm. the sleep. Oh, wait, this is E. The sleeping. The sleeping. Okay. The sleeping on a bed. We're running, running, running in the field. We are talking. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but basically, like, I was reading the stories, the kids love it, people I read to love it, so I was like, ah, oh, that's a business also, so mm -hmm. I'm doing now everything creative, so music and that too, mm. yeah. Nice, nice, uh, we wish you nothing but the best. Baby Shaq. Thank you so much for coming and inspiring <laughs> do, 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 us. Well. Shaq really just do, wants do, Baby Shaq Kabisa. Baby yeah. Shaq, do, 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 do. Wait, it's a Baby request, I've, I've yeah. seen. Baby <laughs> Baby okay, let's shark. Let's play Baby yeah, Shark. They, they have to do the actions also. Yes, let's okay. do that. It's, it's like, like this. this. Yeah. <laughs> baby. Do, 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 do. Baby shark. Do, 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 do. <laughs> baby shark. Do, 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 do. Baby shark. Dandy. The middle version. Dandy sucked. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Now, Yo. Yeah. You, you yeah. recorded it uh, in 2016. Yeah. But the video. This year. This year. And mm. you have so much more in store, like you just said. A lot of your own songs and the yeah. children's songs yeah. are coming <laughs> up. Uh, uh, where can we find you on social media so that we anticipate them? So basically, O S A N J O underscore everywhere Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, mm. Twitter. Yeah, Twitter. <laughs> That's a dark corner. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Yeah, basically, O-S-A-N-J-O, -O, Osanjo, with an underscore. Mm. Yeah. Osanjo, with an underscore. So mm -hmm. make sure you go and stalk her. She has a lot in store for us in 2019. I, I, want, you, I want you to do something for us. Okay. Mm? You have the guitar there. I want you to play. It's called Amabim. Usman. Osman? Mm. Usman. You named him. Well, Is it, it's a him. It's a him. Yeah. Him. It's a he. Oh, it's Osman. Yeah. It does a he. Hi, Osman. Now Hi. I want you to play Osman. Mm -hmm. uh, give us an acoustic of Amobi. Okay. Uh, I'll be nice. I'ma be the fire. I can be the heat. Oh, I'ma be the flame inside your heart. You can be the water. You can be the quencher. You can be the breeze that tones me down and whoa oh 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 you 